Hello everyone, my name is Cam Yuan. I'm a Grand Master of Shaolin Kung Fu and a doctor chiropractic. So I'm retired from those two things now and uh, I spend time lecturing to people and training people to take care of their wellness uh, in their life. So it's not just about health, not just about fitness, it's also about relationships and money and finances and career and purpose and also deal with their past, present, and future that could stand in the way of their uh, self-development. And uh, also about aging. So it should be less aging and more prosperity. So it's really using the, the method of, of finding the weakness, using the, uh, the Taoist principle of yin and yang and apply the effects of it. And we get results on the spot. And um, the whole purpose is for me to educate people that they could take care of themselves and gain self-mastery. That's what the martial art has offered to, uh, to the public. And I would like to uh, have people appreciate the potential of the martial arts uh, in their life. So it's not about fighting with individuals, but it's more like understanding their life and have answers to their life. And as well as, uh, if you think about fighting, it's more interesting to fight disease. But it's, even that is not about fighting, because when it comes to fighting, then it creates more disease than resolving a disease in a person's life. So I've been in the martial arts, teaching the martial arts since the mid 60s. And I was involved with the original Kung Fu series, David Carradine. So I'm David Carradine's uh, instructor. I was the technical advisor of the Kung Fu series. So I was involved with the martial art heavily when I was younger. At this time, there's a lot of people teaching the Chinese martial arts that, uh, that have gained enough uh, experience in, in teaching the arts, whereas in the 60s and 70s, there wasn't that many people teaching the Chinese martial arts, so I elect myself to do so at that time. Well, it's not so much the strength of mind over body, it's really mind, body, and spirit, and that forms a triad, and they should be even with each other. So the uh, the mistake that people make is they think that the mind should overcome the body and they miss the potential of developing the body and, and the body or the physical level should be as more even with the mental level and also with the spiritual level. So as you know, if you have three things that are uneven with each other, they're always going to be in conflict with each other. So the secret or, or the, the knowledge is really to raise the physical potential to be the same level as the mental level, so it's not mind over body. Okay, so you want to create the evenness there so there'll be no conflict with each other. And they should work together, and this also should be able to work in separating from each other. There's a lot of potential um, of our body that we took for granted that we didn't take the understanding how we could further the potential of our physical body. So we spend more time dealing with our illnesses, our physical illness, that essentially we don't have to do that. If the um, martial arts uh, practitioner would look at the potential of this method, their martial art would be so much faster in learning. They would improve their coordination on the spot, they improve their strength on the spot. They would have complete management of their body that they would not have. They would make a lot of uh, extra training that, that is, is more redundant that is needed to accomplish what they want to accomplish physically, mentally, and spiritually. The students are more or less non-martial arts people. So in a way, the martial arts people are so um, ingrained with their tradition that they don't want to change anything. So that's the limitation there. So even though you, you can have a method that would improve a person's flexibility on the spot, improve their endurance, their strength, their confidence, since it didn't register with a traditional training or martial art, they think that there's something not right about it. Okay, I met a lot of traditional martial arts people. 
totally uh, afraid to get involved with it. But they have a preconceived concept of what it is, and they stay with it, even though I, I treat a lot of martial art masters to get rid of their problem. But they have a problem in implementing it because they, have, they think that they can't learn it. But even though you, you ensure that they could learn it, but they don't want to look like they have difficulty learning something that's new or something that's different. Well, they think they're on that level, but they're not. So there, there's more levels they could go to, and, and they're not allowing themselves to get to those levels. And if they get to those levels, then, then the world would appreciate the martial art that much better. Okay? So to be a, a martial art master, you are better than doctors. You're better than lawyers, better than people with a PhD if you uh, learn correctly and, and be more applicable in what you uh, what a person learn from this method. Okay, it, it's really a, a method that gets results, and the results speak for itself. It, it's no uh, theory or or conflicting in 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 uh, philosophy. It's not a philosophy. It's really an applicable principle. Either it works or it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, then we're not going to talk about it. Well, I have seminar almost every weekend somewhere in the world. So like next month, I'll be in Spain for f four weekends. I'll be giving seminars in Los Palmas. I've given seminars in, um, in Madrid. And I have given seminars in China and Hong Kong and Japan and Thailand. So people learn this method. Uh, they would bring the benefit to people in general. So they could appreciate the, the martial arts because it is based on the principle of martial art, but it's been expanded to the level that uh, it would benefit the rest of the population.